schedule back with you. I just wanted to share a few thoughts about Pluto pain and how to get to the bottom of it. And um, just some thoughts about what is at the bottom of it. And so when we are talking about Pluto pain and we want to figure out where it's coming from, because Pluto is very much our core wounds and, and, and the eighth house as well. And so when we want to unmask those wounds, when we want to uncover them, we really want to get down to the bottom of what is beneath the masking emotions that are the defensiveness of Pluto. Because when we lash out um, with Pluto, because Pluto is our rage, Mars is our anger, but Pluto is our rage and our, our, our resentment as well. Pluto is the anger that we keep inside till it turns into resentment. And resentment is so much more poisonous than anger. So rage and resentment are very much about Pluto. And they are dramatic emotions that keep us embroiled in the energy that it takes to act them out. Because underneath it, they're really just a cover for the sweeter, the more vulnerable emotions that are really at the core of that plutonic wound that are often about sadness or loss, the grief that can come with those types of uh, feelings. So a deep core wound that is about a, a vulnerable emotion is very, very often what the projection and the anger and the rage that we indulge in in with our Pluto contacts, that's really what's at the heart of it, is the not really wanting to get down to the business of really feeling and coming into contact what the more vulnerable feelings are there. And so as long as we're doing the Plutonic drama with the ranting and the show and th that we put on, we're staying in a safe place of pain we're actually continuing to nurture our core wound instead of addressing it. And so we have to unmask that pain and embrace it. We have to be willing to face it and to come to a place where we're not running from feeling it, from seeing it, from acknowledging it through the drama that is the more surface layers of uh, plutonic behavior. So I just uh, wanted to share that with you. And um, you can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. Yes, I do private consultation. I'm mainly a relationship and intimacy astrologer, but I interpret all types of charts. You can find me on social media, Patreon, all kinds of other places. And I'll be back with more.